Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design elevated, reinforced concrete slabs in RAM concept. Now we're at the point in our workflow where we've already performed the preliminary calculation and reviewed our analysis results, including our design status plan. Now we're ready to go ahead and take a look at our program reinforcement and make any customizations as needed or desired. To start, let's go ahead and access our reinforcement layers. To do that, you're going to go to the Layers menu bar item and go to the Reinforcement folder. Here you can see you can see several different types of plans to help you model and customize your reinforcement as needed. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my bottom bars plan. Now as I'm taking a look at my bottom bars plan, I'm specifically going to draw your attention to my reinforced concrete beam. Now, a great tool that you can utilize in order to make your own customizations to your reinforcement is to modify your program reinforcement and make it user reinforcement to make changes. That's exactly what I'm going to do for this video. I'm going to use my selection icon and I'm going to select the bottom bars that have been detailed in this reinforced concrete beam. I'm going to right click and say selection properties. Now you're going to notice that this reinforcement has been designed by the program and it basically means that all the other options are grayed out. I can't customize it because RAM concept is determining this reinforcement. Now if I want to make any of the changes and customize this reinforcement, what I'm going to do is change this from program reinforcement to user reinforcement. What that will do is it'll make all of the fields active. Now, for this particular bar, I'm going to take a look at the endings at end 1 and end 2. And I can see that the program reinforcement was detailed with anchors. What I'd like to do is I'd like to see if hooked bars might work just as well. So I'm going to change this reinforcement and let's go ahead with a 90 degree hook for both end 1 and end 2. I'll go ahead and click OK. And then what we're going to notice if I unselect that is that the user bars are now in orange. So everything that's yellow is your program bars determined during the calculation. Anything that's in orange is a user bar that I've gone ahead and defined. Now at this point I can go ahead and reperform a partial calculation or a complete calculation if I wanted to and see if this works. Now, if this reinforcement is not satisfactory at the bottom of the beam, the program will go ahead and add in some additional bars or also report some information on my design status plan. Now, after the calculation has been performed, we can go ahead and close the errors and warnings dialog and take a look in this area. Now it does look like it was able to keep the user reinforcement that I specified without adding any additional program reinforcement. And I'm going to go ahead and keep that detailed as such since I would prefer to detail those bars as hooked rather than anchored. Now at this point this concludes my process for modifying the program reinforcement parameters to make them user bars. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.